welcome back to another video. So Valentine's Day is just around the corner and I thought I'd help you guys with getting personalized gifts for your significant other. Many of the gifts I have in mind are actually gender neutral so they work for both him and her which I think is great because I know Valentine's Day can kind of be tricky. You want the gift to be meaningful but you also want it to be cute. So I think I have quite a few gift ideas that can actually be very cute and meaningful for your significant other and these are some gifts that I've used in the past or some gifts that I'm going to be probably using in the future so if you guys are interested then please keep on watching all right so gift number one is actually my favorite gift of all time um, I got this for my significant other last year and I think he loved it so I came across this ad on Facebook where it was um, a website where you create your own storybook so you get to create your own love story or you get to put whatever you want in this book and you get to create your own characters so you create a character of yourself you create a character of your significant other and you make a book out of it so I have mine with me um, I'm not gonna obviously share the entire book with you because it's pretty personal but just to give you guys an example um, it's hardcover and this is the front page and you get to have as many pages as you want in the book. I'm someone that loves books. I love things that you can keep forever. So I think this is the cutest thing. Um, and yeah, I think it's something you get to keep on your bookshelf forever. I'll leave the website link down below so that you guys can take a look at it. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I think I paid overall $75.00. But it's worth the price because they bind it for you, it's hardcover, you get to choose the cover page, you get to choose what goes inside. So every page is basically up to you to make and I had really fun making this and I think my significant other had really fun reading it. So yeah, I think this is a super cute book and it doesn't only have to be for Valentine's Day, I think it could be used for really anyone. You can make this for your best friend, for your mom, your dad. Um, it really depends on who you want to give it for. So gift number two, um, I would say can be for him and her, but maybe mostly her, and it's personalized jewelry. Getting jewelry is super cute, but when it's personalized, it's even cuter, and you can tell that you put a lot of thought into it. So for an example, Pandora bracelet, I think you can really personalize it with charms that really suit your significant other's personality so for example for me if I were to get a Pandora bracelet I'd probably get a little charm with like a camera on it or like a Polaroid camera on it because I love taking videos and pictures so yeah that kind of signifies me and I think they have such a great variety of charms that you can choose from the third gift that you guys can get is a personalized sweatshirt. I think this is super cute and something that I would probably do in the future. Um, so you can obviously go to like all these stores. I think there are many stores that make personalized sweatshirts and then get maybe your like your initials on it or his initials on it or both your initials on it or get something that really represents the other person. I think a sweatshirt is really cute because they get to wear it um, out and you get to I don't know, when they wear it, they kind of get reminded of you or they can wear it to sleep. It really depends on what you're going for with the sweatshirt. If it's something super cheesy, I'm sure they would want to wear it to sleep instead. But if it's something cute and super simple, then it can be worn outside. And I think that's super cute because you get to see them wear it and make use of the sweatshirt. Uh, when you know it was made by you, it's, it's something personal and cute. So the fourth gift idea is something to do with your significant other's hobby and what they like to do. I think it's super sweet when you get something that they're interested in because they can actually use it when they're doing their favorite sport or their favorite hobby. So for example, if your significant other loves basketball, then you can get something basketball related like a video game or a basketball net or something cute that you know they'll be making use out of because it is their favorite sport or their favorite thing to do. Another example can be if they like yoga, then get them something that they can use when they're going to their yoga class. A new yoga mat or a water bottle, a personalized water bottle. I think it's really nice when you're thinking of what your significant other likes and then using that to get a gift for them. It really shows that you care and that you're actually looking into what they like more than what you like and you know that they're going to use it just like the sweatshirt and just like uh, the jewelry. It's something practical and something cute at the same time so it works both ways. Um, another favorite of mine is an experience. I think experiences are so in right now and there are so many things that you get to do that you can do 
uh, based on MTL blog or Instagram or wherever you're from. I think there are so many things that you get to do in your city that are taken for granted. I think taking your significant other on a really cute experience can be fun for the both of you and can be something that you guys get to do on Valentine's Day and can also be a gift. So for example, if you if your significant other likes a particular artist, you can buy them tickets to go see their favorite artist. Or I think a spa date is really cute. That's something I love doing and I know a lot of couples love doing as well. So it's relaxing, you get to spend time with your significant other and I think it's a great way to just spend time together. Um, another gift can be a handwritten letter. I love these. I think they're super cute and personal and I think Although a lot of people like to type their things out now, I think when it's really your own handwriting, it's more personal and meaningful um, because you can tell that you actually took the time to write it nicely. I think handwritten letters are so cute. My parents used to do that all the time and they still have it till today. So when I look back at their letters, I think it's the cutest thing. So I think that's something I would appreciate and I'm sure um, your significant other would appreciate as well. So I think handwritten letters are actually really cute compared to typed letters and it doesn't matter if your handwriting is ugly i think it's really based on what is <laughs> written in the letter and it's really the thought that counts when it comes to these things because it is valentine's day who cares i'm sure your significant other would appreciate it even if you don't like your handwriting i'm sure they would and yeah i think it's it's really cute and meaningful another idea can be a montage video so i've done this in the past and i think it's the cutest thing so you kind of put all your memories and favorite videos together and it kind of becomes like this little movie that you created of the both of you and you get to look back at all the cute memories that you guys had together and you can also make a video of you talking um, saying how you feel about your significant other instead of writing a letter if you feel more comfortable with doing it as a video and I think videos are a little more fun you get to see your significant other <laughs> um, and I don't know I think it's super cute like it's creative you get to put your creativity into it both you and your significant other are going to enjoy re-watching this in the future so yeah it's super creative it's super thoughtful and personal another gift idea that you guys can do so if you don't want to write a letter and if you don't want to make a video because you're too shy you can always just make a photo album so get all your favorite memories together all your pictures that you took um, over the years and Put it into a photo album, also something they get to keep. I love when gifts are made to keep because you get to look back on it and you get to kind of collect all the things that were made over the years and kind of keep it as a memory. Instead of always keeping them digital on your phone, I think it's sometimes nice to kind of have it right in front of you like in a photo album and you can write um, some personal notes on the sides of uh, the pictures you've taken. So kind of like in Polaroid style, you can write like the date it was taken on or where you guys were at that moment or something that you remember from that date. It's kind of like revamping a photo album and kind of making it unique to your liking. So if you're not into making cheesy gifts like I am, <laughs> I still have a list of things that you guys can buy for your significant other. If it's for him or her, you guys can get their favorite cologne or favorite perfume. I know a lot of people like that for Valentine's Day. Or you can always do uh, their favorite book. So if they love reading, you can get them a new book or a book that they've always wanted to have in their library. Um, you can also do roses. I think the infinity roses are super cute. They're long lasting and they don't just die the next day. I know mine have lasted for over a year now. They're right there. And I love it. So it's super cute and super pretty to keep um, in your room and they don't really die as fast as regular roses. So another gift that you guys can do and I know isn't as meaningful or thoughtful but can be are gift cards and a nice and creative way to do this is to get them gift cards to their favorite stores. So you can do a gift card at their favorite coffee shop and then a gift card at their favorite um, clothing store and then a gift card at their favorite restaurant and kind of put them all together in like a little box and tie it together um, I think that kind of makes it more creative and you kind of it is kind of personal because you know where they love to go so it's kind of nice that you get them things that they're going to use every day so that's a nice and creative way to kind of make gift cards um, creative and practical so yeah these are the gifts that I've 
used in the past or will be using in the future and I think are creative and fun and personal and yeah let me know what you guys think about the gift and if, if you guys have any other cool ideas that can be used for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day shouldn't be the only day that you celebrate love, but it is a day where you get to be cheesy, like I said earlier, and I love being cheesy and I love being romantic. So I love Valentine's Day. That's why I chose to do this video and I know a lot of people have a hard time with choosing gifts. So I thought I'd share with you guys my gift ideas. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please let me know. And yeah, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.